Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel that at one time was quite focused, I wouldn't say solely focused, but quite focused, on seeing the end of Don Lemon's journalistic career. Of course, let me correct myself, that's worst journalist of the year, Don Lemon. Ah, uh, the good old days, the early launch of this channel, where we prayed and hoped for Don Lemon to get fired for years. Then, of course, it finally happened. But holy moly, I'll tell you, I wasn't expecting this one. This is probably the greatest Christmas gift that you could possibly imagine. After working so hard and diligently to expose Don Lemon for the paid actor that he is, we not only get to celebrate one Don Lemon firing or career collapse, but rather two. Don Lemon gets fired from CNN only to relaunch his show on X to then immediately, the next day after his first show, with special guest Elon Musk, who happens to be the boss that signed his contract, have his show cancelled by Elon Musk immediately after the interview. And now, of course, he's crying like a little baby on Twitter. Boy, do we got some stuff to get into. So let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so it was so hype. It was such a big deal. Back on the 8th of March, Don Lemon wrote, I'm back, March 18th. The Don Lemon Show, or excuse me, Don Lemon Show. Also seeing promotional posts like this. The first day of rehearsals for... The Don yeah. Lemon Show. <laughs> that, maybe that should be the open to our show. Oh my gosh. I recognize that desk. We're in a fabulous loft in Manhattan. Look at that. New set. One of our studios, we have two more to come. I'll explain all of that. First day of the Don Lemon Show. Are you guys ready? I know I am. Go to DonLemon.com for more information. Thank you for watching. The Don Lemon Show kicking off March 18th with an exciting guest. Stay tuned. Turns out that exciting guest was actually the man himself, Elon Musk, the mad lad crypto chad. Don Lemon was excited to announce it on the 12th of March. First guest, Elon Musk, like you've never seen him before. You don't want to miss this. And then this happens. Hi, everyone. Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. But make no mistake about this. This is going to be my first episode of The Don Lemon Show this coming Monday, March 18th. So make sure you tune in. This does not change anything about the show except for my relationship with Elon and X. And there, there's a whole lot that went down and I'm gonna tell you about in the coming days. I know though that many of you were not happy that I was doing this in the first place and you told me so. I just want you to know that I did this deal because not only do I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to reach the largest amount of people. So speaking of free speech, right? I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. I asked him to do it. He willingly agreed to the interview. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. What did we talk about? Why is he so upset? Does he even have a reason to be upset? Make sure you watch it on Monday on YouTube and everywhere you listen to podcasts and you can decide for yourself. You can even watch it on X because I'm still going to post it there and I'm sure others will as well. Elon Musk immediately fires Don Lemon, probably after having to suffer sitting one hour with this insufferable fake actor. Here's the official message that the Don Lemon show released. Elon Musk has canceled the partnership I had with X, which they announced as part of their public commitment to amplifying more diverse voices on their platform. I'm not sure what he means by diverse voices. Does he mean that because of the color of his skin? Because of his, let's say, personal preferences? Or does he mean politically diverse? Impossible to tell with these leftists, but anyways. He informed me of his decision hours after an interview I conducted with him on Friday. That interview will remain the premiere episode of The Don Lemon Show on Monday, March 18th. Elon publicly encouraged me to join X with a new show saying that I would have his full support and that his digital town square is for all. He and his team pursued the deal in numerous conversations and made significant commitments about the support that X would provide for the show. I made the decision to work with them in a unique unique partnership that I believed would ultimately assure my work would be available to most people, or to the most people rather, in the largest possible venue, I took Elon and his management team's word that they, for the first time, were interested in working directly with new and diverse voices. There were no restrictions.
restrictions on the interview that he willingly agreed to, and my questions were respectful and wide-ranging, covering everything from SpaceX to the presidential election. We had a good conversation, clearly he felt differently. His commitment to a global town square where all questions can be asked and all ideas can be shared seems not to include questions of him from people like me. Interesting, so now we're introducing a victim narrative. Our conversation will be available on YouTube, where you listen to podcasts and X. This will be just the first of many episodes of the Don Lemon Show. While Elon goes back on his word, I will be doubling down on my commitment to free speech, and I cannot wait to get started. All right, so Don Lemon's basically playing the victim, throwing a little hissy fit. He's claiming free speech, my free speech. Elon Musk claimed to be a free speech absolutist, but he canceled my show. A couple things. Firstly, free speech doesn't mean that Elon Musk has to pay for your garbage show. That's a private venture. I mean, Elon Musk allowed you free speech he sat there and listened to you for an hour and then maybe thought to himself yeah you know this is probably not a good allocation of company resources let's close down this entire department maybe that's what happened maybe free speech led to you you know getting fired what i'm assuming probably happened is don lemon in his interview with elon musk probably showed that the problem with don lemon at cnn wasn't just cnn you know it wasn't don lemon just acting as a dishonest propagandist because the network wanted wanted him to do so. You know, the problem isn't isolated solely in the entity that is CNN that Don Lemon probably also shares that sort of brand of vulture journalism. I mean, this Don Lemon fella has fake written all over him. And I'm assuming Elon Musk probably didn't want that anywhere near. I mean, sure, you have the freedom of speech to be a dishonest, self-interested journalist who's really just trying to put big headlines out there and get clicks rather than get to the facts. You have the freedom to do that and to destroy your reputation and credibility. But Elon Musk doesn't have to co-sign it. And he certainly doesn't have to pay for your entire studio setup because my diverse voices. You could operate as diversely as you will, independently, off the Twitter or rather X payroll. Ah, the level of entitlement and then the cattiness and the attitude. X Business tweeted, X is a platform that champions free speech. We're proud to provide an open environment for diverse voices and perspectives. The Don Lemon Show is welcome to publish its content on X without censorship, yada yada yada. To which Don Lemon responds, clean up on IOX. They're literally saying that you still have free speech and you could post whatever you want, that they don't care, but Don Lemon thinks he's dunking on them by having a cringe, catty attitude. So Don Lemon gets fired again. It's funny to anyone. The only way that this story gets better or gets bigger, and honestly what I'm really hoping happens here, I hope Elon Musk now comes out publicly and says, yeah, so the whole thing was a ruse. We baited Don Lemon in thinking we were going to give him a show, but built into the contract that we could cancel at any time if we're displeased. We never intended on really giving him a show we just wanted him to launch his show and then immediately publicly fire him because we thought it would be funny i don't know if that's possibly illegal if that violates some sort of you know business practice code but i like to think that that's what secretly happened and even if it's the other way around it's still essentially the same thing don lemon and all the other fake news hosts at cnn all have the same toxic aura the only one who seems to have found like a slight remedy is chris cuomo who actually interestingly enough just got hired at valuetainment i mean that's certainly an interesting development. But anyways, it's a whole toxic sludge over there. Don Lemon hasn't changed. He's all about tabloid nonsense, fake news, playing into the narrative so he can remain relevant. Fired once again, no one cares, good riddance. I'm 100% certain Elon Musk probably did the right thing for the right reasons. Story ends there. That's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.